Testigo Estrella got away. Plucky George. Ronda Jom's a chance out wide. Testigo Estrella still in front. Plucky George and Ronda Jom. Testigo Estrella is running about a little bit, but the Hayes Hayes Davin and Galloper, I think, is home. And Testigo Estrella. Testigo Estrella won by two. Uh, well, what a win that was by Testigo Estrella last start over the 2,500 metres. He's had a ch stable change since then. He's now with Mitch Beer at Albury Singh. He's going to be doing a lot of racing in that area. And he's heading to a 3,200 metre benchmark 74 on Friday. As you can see, he looks great. So best of luck. We're expecting another forward showing if he can get the distance. All right, Rob, we're here with Charlie, Charlie's World. He's heading to a Benchmark 70 2200 on Friday night at the Sunshine Coast and he's just um, doing everything right this preparation apart from getting a little bit of bad luck last start. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a lot of bad luck to be honest. He never really had a run. He went to the line with plenty of petrol in his tank. Ryan had no option but to uh, just coast to the line behind them. Uh, we know how he needs to be ridden and that's out and rolling and plenty of room. He's fit, he's healthy. I know it's another little mini backup, but it's not going to bother him. He's just he's just done so well. I'm happy with him. His work's been good. We just need the right ride and the you know the way the race is run on Friday and he can win again. This is David doing an update. We've changed her training. We've kept her very fresh. I've actually popped her over a few hurdles. Um, she seems really bright in herself. Um, she's been getting out in the paddock during the day and hopefully the fresh training with a little bit of cut in the track with the rain about, um, she can really improve. Because I know her best is good enough to be very competitive in this race. Um, if she finds her best, she's definitely good enough. I know that. And this is Bold Chance. He's having a nice little pick. And he's coming along really well, heading towards um, Saturday's race. Uh, worked nicely this morning on his own. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, he's in great order, guys, in fact. You look at him, and I'll turn him around in a second, you can look at him side on. He's probably the best looking horse in the stable at the minute. His coat is absolutely glowing, his dapples on his dapples, a real sign of inner health. His legs, which have given us a little bit of grief in the past, his fetlocks are as cold and hard as any, any time. So I'm really happy with the horse. Excellent. Well, we look forward to Saturday. Yeah, tough race, but he'll be there and we'll give his best. And to round out the weekend, we have Nakoni Storm heading to Ballarat on Monday in a 1,400 metre maiden. He's come through his last start fifth in stakes company at Caulfield in great order, and he's looking great on the track. Jai McNeil's taking the ride. We've finally drawn an outside barrier, so hopefully we can get, get down the outside and he can really finish off like he does at home. Uh, anyone having a runner over the weekend, best of luck. It's big group one weekend and lots of runners. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you in the winner's stall.